Yeah, P, do you want to start us with the Anime Impact um, that you got going on? So, Anime Impact. Um, of course, you guys know um, Akira Toriyama uh, did pass away um, a couple of weeks ago. And so, maybe it, is it a few or a couple? Anyway, he passed a couple weeks time, ago. By the time this comes out, it'll be a couple weeks from today. It's couple, been eight days. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, yeah, he passed a couple of weeks ago. And, of course, um, everybody that I know was re-watching um, Dragon Ball and re-watching their favorite moments. And so I just want to go back um, and highlight like what I thought was like really impactful um, for me and maybe for you guys, too. Um, I want to talk a little bit about Vegeta. Um, so Vegeta got started as like everybody's like villain. Like this dude was just villain, a villain amongst villains. Didn't care too much about anybody but his pride. <laughs> um, conquering planets, and that's pretty much it. Um, over the course of Dragon Ball, though, this guy developed um, from being a villain to now being one of Earth's greatest heroes, as well as a family man. Um, family so, man. Family man. So I say that to say, um, don't let your past determine um, who you are or who you want to be. Um, we all start um, off in different places of our lives, um, but just to know that Everybody can change. You just don't have to be one thing your whole life. Vegeta started out being a villain and ended up, again, being um, one of the Earth's greatest heroes as well as a family man. So it's never how you start, um, but it's always how you finish. Um, so, yeah, never let your past determine who you are. Um, let your future do that for you. Okay, that, that was good. I like I like that. That was good. That was good. Man, mine comes from solo leveling. Uh, specifically, I believe, technically, the end of episode one and the beginning of episode two. Um, and it's more just about, like, the human aspect of Sung Janu and a lot of us and how a lot of us feel and the unfairness of life, even when we do everything right. Um, that moment where he ends up dying on the altar, um, where he he basically led everyone to safety. And if they had just listened to him, they would have all probably been fine. Now, we don't know because that's not how the story goes. But based on how things were playing out, if they had all just stayed and listened to him, he got them to where they were to the point where they could leave him and abandon him. And they wouldn't have been there without him. And so they just needed to stick together. And everyone ended up abandoning him. Um, and it shows like it, there's times in life where even when you do everything right, even when you feel like you have done what you need to do to get what you want and desire or just, you know, someone give you your flowers and respect. Um, for me recently, like two years ago, I had my best season of my entire career going to years like year six. And me sitting at home halfway through the season, not getting a job like for me, I'm like, bro, like what what do I have to do, you know? to get the recognition that I feel like yeah. I deserve. And I'm not saying I'm God's gift to earth, but like there are dudes out there that I see that are getting things. I'm like, bro, like I did better than that. And all respect to them, no disrespect to them at all. Like all love. Cause a lot of these guys are my friends, my teammates, my colleagues, but like, like, bro, like, can I just get a little yeah. bit of love? Like, I'm not asking for a lot. I'm just asking for a little bit of love and respect um, for what I have done so far. Yeah. And yeah, man, like there's just times where life is unfair. And I think we get to see Sung Janu in a place of vulnerability and realness. And when he just goes off screaming, um, voice actors do such a great job oh, with do. this moment. Um, they absolutely killed it, man. But to see him go from, it's fine, I understand. If I was in your position, I'd save myself. But like, bro, also like, screw you. I got a mom and sister outside of this dungeon too. Like, I got family I care for too. I got a sick mom who I'm trying to take care of too. And I'm not abandoning y'all. So why are you abandoning me? Um, and again, bro, just the the human aspect of it, the realness of it that I think a lot of us can identify with, the unfairness of life sometimes, even when you do things right, uh, was something that I recalled and just really hit hit hard for me. So Yeah, 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 that, that'll preach. That'll preach. By the way, 2022 season for you was, yeah, yeah, that was... Bro, yeah, it was a good, great it was a good year. Season. It was a, yeah, it was a real good year. So we'll see. We'll see if 2024 has got something for your boy. We Absolutely. don't know yet. We don't know yet, but I'm sure whatever God's got for me, I'm going to be good. I'm going to be real mm. good. What God has for you is for you.